This week's episode is all about the yurts. And first of all, we've got a brilliant time lapse of us building deer yet over there, which we did yesterday. And then we've got a massive announcement about the yurts going forward for next year. So now onto our time lapse of the yurt build. Um, obviously over the years we have put up and down these yurts around about nine times. Um, so we should be really good at it now and we have definitely got quicker. It used to take us two full days to put up a yurt where, because the woodwork, it's the woodwork mainly that takes the time getting it absolutely perfect. But now we've kind of got it down, we can get it up we can get it up in about five hours which has made such a difference to the stress levels um, but yeah generally it's just about precision about making sure you measure everything measure the height of the trellis um, and once you've got the woodwork up then it's just a case of getting all the covers round and getting the cover on and then eventually getting the wood burner in our yurts come from a company called Mongolian Yurts Direct you can see it there and we found this company brilliant because they are getting stuff over from Mongolia all the time. They've also um, been going for years and years and years, which means that you want to get spare parts, you can get spare parts so easily. Hence why Deer has just got a brand new cover because we can just give them an email and say, we need a replacement cover and it's there within a couple of days. So any replacements we need are so easy to get. We actually went down to the showroom um, in 2017 um, to suss out and just have a look at a yurt. I don't know why we went with the yurts, but we did. And um, guests have absolutely loved them. But on to the big announcement. Unfortunately, we have decided that 2022 is going to be the last year that we have yurts. So we are going to be selling our yurts at the end of this season to make way for two domes mainly because of the having to take them down, store them for the winter and put them back up again. Um, it would just mean our life would be a lot easier with having the domes up and just left up all year round. So that is, I'm afraid, what is gonna happen. I will be really sad because, yeah, it's kind of started it all for us. We bought our first year in 2015 when we started the afternoon tea. So we had um, our little red yurt, which was literally impossible to put up. I bought that off eBay for a couple of grand. And um, we just, you know, I don't know why we didn't learn then, to be honest, that we struggled putting them up. But for anyone who buys them, now we know exactly what we're doing. We'd be able to give a bit more comprehensive instruction and help them out. Because we've learned so much over the last six years of putting yurts up and down. Um, so yeah, it's sad and I'm gonna be really sad about New Holland yurt because this was my baby when we first started the glamping site. Um, I absolutely love this yurt and I think it's so beautiful inside and it does have such a cozy feeling to it. Um, obviously Deer Yurt, the green one, was the one that Brian designed so that's kind of his baby so he feels more strongly about that yurt. But unfortunately it's just time that you know the glamping site is moving on and um the domes are just working really well for us and we're finding that they're getting more booked up than the yurts are so we just feel like now is the time well we're going to finish this year and then for next year we will have everything domes so yeah it's really sad um and we did ask our guests like last year you know, what, do you, what would you feel if we sold the yurts? Some of them were like, oh, we really like the domes. Others were like, oh, we'd be really sad. We love the yurts. Um, so yeah, it's just, it's just how the business is evolving and what we need to do to make our lives that little bit easier generally. Um, so yeah, if you're thinking of starting a glamping site and you fancy a couple of yurts that will be going cheap, then please feel free to get in touch with us. Um, anybody that buys them, we would be happily to help take them down, talk it through how we build them, all that sort of stuff. So yeah, this is not an advert by the way, it's just really letting you guys know that if you want to stay in our yurts, this year is the last year you can come and stay in them. So that was our big announcement about the yurts. Um, let us know what you think. Do you prefer the yurts? Do you prefer the domes? We would love to know what your favourite structure is. And our next video will probably be about our new wildlife pond that we've been building because that's been quite fun. Um, also, we just want to do a massive thank you because we've just reached 7,000 subscribers. So we're so happy about that. Thank you to everyone that subscribes to the channel. And hopefully we will see you on our next adventure.